Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, a little seamless pattern that's pretty easy. And what I do like about it, you can change the color of the background. And if you wanted it blue, and then you've got blue probably not going to show up too much, but it does. So you could change the color of your background. Really easy to draw, just a couple of steps. Polygon tool, four-sided. Do not hold down the control button and make a diamond shape. We're gonna go ahead and with our ratio lock, go ahead and make it two inches just to make it easy. And then I do this by hand, but uh, maybe let's set our nudge factor on like 0.25 and control D and make it duplicate. That's pretty good. It's a little bit thicker than I like, but it, we're gonna use it in a second. Control D, to, so on the top one, not the bottom one, the top one, Control D, holding down your shift key, it'll grow into the center. Now, Control D and nudge it down that quarter inch. Now, let's zoom in here and we'll just draw a few lines, two point line from that node to that node, from that node to that node, and from that node to that node, and then from that back. So, what we're making is a hole. Take your virtual segment delete key and delete the lines you should not be able to see. And there you have it. <clears throat> now, you could do this in any color. I'm going to use a, um, a light gray. And I'm only going to do these three parts. Because to make them even with the interactive field tool, we're going to select that one and we're gonna get the interactive fill tool and we're gonna swipe downwardly, kind of making it look like it's going down in a hole. And you could actually even kind of angle it. Then we'll do the same thing. Pick that interactive fill tool, go from, doesn't really matter which way you go, but if you're gonna make it darker in the back, it's easier to do that. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time. Now, the reason I only did those twos, because now we can control D and make a duplicate while holding down the control button, grab this center arrow and pop it over there. That way, both those are equal. Control D, holding down the control key and pop it over there. Now, I'm going to give a little outline, so I'm going to take right click the black, maybe make it something a little bit bigger than a hairline. Now, I'm going to group this together. And if you remember, we made it two inches wide. We're going to change our nut factor to two inches. Control D and make a duplicate. I must not have put the two. Control D and make a duplicate. Well, what is going on? That's two inches. I've changed my nudge factor to two inches. There we go. There we go. I don't know what was going on. Control D, make it quite a few of them. Uh, the more, the merrier when you're doing something like this. So I'm gonna just go the other way. Cause we're gonna intersect them and make them a little straighter. So I'm gonna control D and make a duplicate. And then I'm gonna grab one of them and have it snap to there. Now, instead of control D again and have them go at an angle, now we're just going to go straight down. Control D, grab that midpoint. Have it now once you've got it, control D, and what you're doing, you're not going at an angle. Control G to group them together. Take a rectangle. Just kind of put it in there. My rectangle is 18 inches, so I'm going to set my nudge factor on 20. I am going to take my whole thing, both items, and intersect it. And then I'm going to move that over. And then I can take my box and I can make it that color I want. Go ahead and go to object, order, back a page. And then when you move it over there, you can see through it. Pretty cool. Really looks like it's a seamless pattern that I don't know what you would, you know, really do with it, but, you know, you could make it red and then you'd have red in there. Anyway, 
kind of a fun project. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.